Hey, it's opening weekend. My name is Tony. Happy 2022. Happy New Year. <coughs> First movie of 2022, The 355. Let's go right out to the theater and get some right out of the theater feedback in the freezing January air. I'll see you there. Okay, so really quick, I got the movie kit out here. That's you right. just saw the new movie, The 355, I which did. the poster's behind me. It's uh, Jessica Chastain and Penelope Cruz. Yes, yes. By the way, just so you know, this movie was sitting on a shelf for about a year. They wanted to put it out last January, but they changed their mind. Yeah. A year to the week almost. I mean, the uh, pandemic I mean, delayed everything, man. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, they can't figure out if this movie's PG-13 or R. The, the poster says PG-13. At the end of the movie, it said it was R. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, I, I, I left kind of early because I had to go run and take a bathroom break. Because, I mean, it, it's a long movie. It's yeah, two long, hours. It's a two-hour movie, and it basically follows the events of, you know, these five women. Mm -hmm. who are, are, it starts out as four, but then there's an inadvertent fifth. Yeah, there's an inadvertent fifth. I'm not going to say who, I'll just leave it, you know, for the movie. But right. basically, these women, uh, they're unlikely allies, I guess you could say. Yeah. Because they have to work together to... Uh, try and obtain this device, and this device seems to have some like uh, some it's cyber, a pain in the butt. Some, some cyber stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all technical stuff, but basically, like, if they, if they get something to fight, they bring it down, or do whatever the, you know, the heck it wants with it. Yeah. Um, it's an interesting plot. There are, there are definitely predictable parts of it, but it, it's you know it's all right at best. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's a good time it's killer. killer. It's a good time killer. Good cast. I definitely say. Oh, okay. Andrew Garfield. Right, right, right. I'd say this is a little bit less exciting than The Protégé. Yeah. Which had that, uh, I forgot her. I forgot her. Me too. Right, right. But, uh, I'm sorry to get the No, it's okay. I don't want to take all your time. Right. I don't want to so take all of yours. Well, a couple of those, one woman is working for the CIA, just so people know. One woman's, uh... MI6. Yeah. There's a, a German agency. Then there's the uh, Chinese ministry. And then there's, uh... Like, yeah, one woman's Columbia a psychiatrist. Intelligence. Yeah. Columbian intelligence. Center. Right, right. Okay. But, um, yeah, interesting cast. Pretty decent plot. I'd yeah. say, you know, good time killer at best. In the movie business, and I don't want to keep it too much longer, uh, they, they call the January movie, like, uh, you know, they don't have high hopes for it. This is what they call in the business the dump month. Yeah, so, and you said, and, and Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 24%? I, I heard that it, <laughs> it didn't do too well with critics. So. Oh, brother. Yeah. Well, you, you liked it, but you, I mean, it was right. you, nobody has to run out and see it, right? You could watch it on HBO or whatever. You can watch it on wherever it's going. Yeah. That's fine. All right, cool. Thanks so much for your time. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Well, it sure was cool of that kid to, uh, once again, give me the time of day and tell me about that new movie, The 355. Since it feels like it's 35 degrees out here, or 35 below, I'm going to split. I want to thank him. I want to thank you for watching. Have a good weekend.